Zero. You show a new Mega Man, that'll be lit. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I highly doubt that's gonna happen. Oh, that's the classic Capcom. I like that. And nice. And nice. Capcom, don't fuck us over. Come on now. I see that Resident Evil. I see some Phoenix Wright. I see some Mega Man. We got the showcase going. I'm sweaty as all hell. Sorry about that, everybody. I just came in from work. Hello, everyone. Hi. Welcome to the Capcom Showcase, where Thank we you. share exciting new updates on our upcoming game. Exciting games. new updates. Let's go. We have some surprises in store. Oh, I like surprises. Enjoy the show. I love surprises. <laughs> Let's begin. Let's begin. Yes, please. Uno más. Hello, everyone. Starting off strong with some Monster Hunter. Let's go. Thank you for tuning in to today's Capcom Showcase. We're Start excited strong. to bring you the latest info on Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Yes, please. Which will finally be released at the end of this month. End of this month. Let's go. We in there like swimwear. We've got a brand new trailer to show you. Ooh, ooh. I like trailers. Let's take a look. World premiere. I love that. I love that all the time. World premiere. Oh, the video quality is choppy as all hell. God damn. The hell? Who put it on 1080? No, who put it on 480? Oh, wow. They just flying through the air. Oh. Like Power Rangers. Look at Naruto Kuga being all mean. Wait, that, what the fuck? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Is that who I think it is? Big as hell. Yeah, cut that damn horn off. I wanna be oh damn! Kushala just came in and just said, fuck you! Oh we got some crabs. Oh they bring the crabs in? Oh great. That means that's gonna be hammer damage. No, we're gonna just we're gonna do some hammer time. I'm gonna bring the butter. There you go. Ooh. Ugh, oh. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, they brought back the environment traps. Very nice. They took something from World. Oh, wow. Goddamn. Switch axe on. Oh, shit. What the hell are you, you ugly people? Ew. What? Oh, they go. Jason Voorhees. Holy shit! No! No! Oh my god! Oh! Oh no! We're not ready! We're not ready! We're not ready for this! He frenzy in it! Oh lord! We're not ready! We're not ready! We're not ready! Nah, we ain't ready for that. That's too much smoke, man. That's too much smoke. Nah, that's too much smoke. <laughs> I'm already coughing. I'm already coughing. <laughs> the jungle. Oh, we getting a new map. Let me introduce a returning locale. Fix it, quality. That debuted in the second generation of Monster Hunter games. Yeah, I know second generation, but new map for the game. Stop it. You'll notice that the jungle's appearance Jesus. changes over time. It's a nostalgic area that both veteran hunters and new players are sure to enjoy. Yeah, new players gonna see this as ooh, and they got the rainbow. Endemic life specifically for its return in Sunbreak. Oh, that's pretty. Long-time fans can look forward to exploring the devastated ruins around the coastal devastated area. Devastated ruins. Oh man, Espinas. From the Monster Hunter Frontier I spit on myself saying Espinas. that. Espinas. Espinas means thorns in Spanish. As the name oh Iran, no, it means thorns in Spanish. Oh, thank you for the educational. Espinas. Normally, Espinas enjoys a quiet. I gotta wipe my mouth. Hold on. But when it senses danger nearby, it you know that's gonna be a thing every time we. Espinas. Espinas has a two-faced name. Espinas. That's the only way you can say his name from now on. Gormagala. The flagship monster of Monster Hunter 4, Gore Magala is Oh dead. my lord Jesus, he looks beautiful. Gore is a sightless creature with black scales. Oh, I can't wait to see the armor for this one. Oh, and the weapons. Oh boy, please make dual blades. Gore 
Amagala's sensing ability increases. Its two oh, horns God. change form and it enters the frenzy wait. state. Yeah, frenzy's back, when baby! The frenzy state, it gets so powerful that the ground beneath begins to break, and it uses its huge claws as an anchor during powerful attacks. Dumbio <laughs> Himator <laughs> in Rankat Kadaki! Also shows the Daimyo Hermitar and the Pyrorock subspecies. Oh yeah, I'm bringing. I'm definitely bringing him for now. I'm gonna bust that shell right open. Two more monsters that have yet to be revealed. So stay tuned for more Live break it? announcements in the future. Damn right, I'm gonna bust that shit right open. There's Crack one more thing shit. I want to share with you. All. I'm gonna pour the butter right on it too. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, ah, ah, that's the parquet. Right, there's a demo. Tomorrow. Huh? Tomorrow. Aw, oh, you suck. I I was so I was like, I'm about to go download that shit right now. Yo, fat, you about to get on that seat right now, play boy. I was like, no. So you know what we're doing tomorrow, right? Uh yeah. Yeah, you gonna be able to wait for me? Yeah. Nah, you ain't gonna wait for me. Nah, I can't. What? Why wouldn't I? We are you don't never wait for me. Worse. You at 327, you don't wait for me. Oh, slay Malzino! Oh, oh, we gonna beat his ass, Malzino! You getting all these hands? A free demo for Monster Hunter Rise. I gotta be tomorrow. To both Nintendo Switch and Steam, the demo will be. Are we doing Japanese hours where it's gonna be available tonight? In the Japanese locale, introduced <laughs> or today. now? Cause aren't they waking up right now? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now usually it's nine o'clock for us. The new switch skill swap It'd be nine o'clock at night for us for when it would be alive. Will be available for play. Hmm. We'll have so a few maybe tutorial quests could available get it for new players. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. For, I mean, After June fourteenth is gonna be June fourteenth already. Yeah, you know, the Japan, and that would be dishonoring to Japan if they waited for everyone to be in the fourteenth. Look at Malzino. Jesus Christ. Flagship monster Malzino. The demo supports multiplayer for up to four players, and there's no limit to the number of times you can attempt quests. Nice. They just want us to sunbreak action Ooh. with this free demo. You can download it from the Nintendo Can I, I pre-download it at least? Also, I wow. would like for you to keep two things in mind. What's that? Purchasing Monster Hunter Rise. What do you want me to keep in mind? So you will be able to enjoy all the added content. You need to complete the seven star uh oh. Serpent Goddess of Thunder. Didn't we do that already? Yes. That's just for people that are just starting. Free title update info. What are we getting? Following Sunbreak's release, oh! we plan to release mm. a Get number up. of free title updates. Please enjoy this quick video preview of What's on the Way. Put your mouth. Well, everybody's confused. You already saw it, so I'm just watching it right now. Is that self or not? Kuga! Lucid Nagakuga! Oh my god. Our first title update scheduled for August 2022 will add Lucent Nargakuga. Ooh, Lucent look cool. This monster will be a part of the first free title update to come to Sunbreak. Oh boy, I don't know what you do different. In addition to the Lucent Nargakuga, we're okay, also that's adding August. a new area, the iconic Forlorn Arena. With I know about title that. updates, we huh. plan on including additional monsters, variants, and more. Nice, nice, nice. Our title update release schedule is as follows. Oh, yeah, suck. Title update is planned for a fall 2022. How dare you hide what is that is? I'm gonna have to guess. How dare you hide what that is? What that is? More to come in 2000. How dare you? How dare you is what that hide is? I know, right? Whatever. Whatever. Being secretive. Ooh. This this lag though. Oh my god. Check your internet provider, please. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will be released worldwide on June, June 30th, 2022. Oh boy. I'm almost boy. tempted to get in the Switch version, but also. Nah. PC Digital pre for Just to take it with me so I get more practice while I'm playing. Switch and Steam. Pre -orders will also receive I don't care box. about the Halloween special cat and dog armor. skin. I was too hyped. I missed that part, We're actually. On That's crazy. I don't care about that. Soon. 
did I miss that? Please visit the official website. So you probably was filming your asshole. Social channels for more info. That was extra hype. That wraps up our news for yeah, Monster I wasn't Hunter Rise that. Sunbreak. Thanks for tuning in and enjoy the rest of the Capcom Showcase. Thank you, Capcom. I appreciate you. Now that was lovely. Present the Capcom Spotlight Corner. What we got? What we got? Spotlight Corner. What's up? Who we spotlighting? Street Fighter Six, coming Ooh, soon. Oh yeah! The Please next have a demo. Generation of Street Fighter Please have a demo. Is currently in development and has something fun for everyone. They're about to go quiet. Game favorites Ryu and Chun Li will be heating up the battle stage right this alongside game looks so good. Street Fighters Luke and Jamie, with breathtaking new visuals. Unleash unprecedented good. battles with the all new battle system. Ooh, them Perry's. Six reimagines the fighting game experience with new modes that will allow you to experience the Street Fighter universe. Nice. What awaits you in this game? Yes, what awaits Look me? Look forward to our next announcement later this year. Ah, uh, you suck. Celebrating the 35th anniversary. 35 years, I'm old. Franchise, the Capcom Fighting Collection will be Yes, Capcom Fighting Collection. I gotta pick that up next. Is the first ever release Red, of Earth. Red Earth. Oh, Red Earth. Arcade. Oh, that's so beautiful. Fighter 2. I don't know why y'all re-releases Hyper Street Fighter 2 for. Yes, bring my Dark Stalkers back, baby. Ten of the best fighting games from the arcade era. Mm -hmm. That Super Gem Fighter. Cyberbots as well. Oh. Included will be playable online. Oh, that's beautiful. So play a match against your friends. Or fight online. I'm gonna be on that Super Gem Fighter religiously. Enjoy a full range <laughs> of online. That game was fun. I still got it on my PS3. Capcom Fighting Collection will launch on June 24th, 2022. 2022. Pre orders are available now. Please visit cool. the official website for more information. I already got all the information I need. Play the games you loved again. What, what are you talking about? Capcom Arcade Stadium has expanded. 39th anniversary. Oh my god, I'm the same age as this. Capcom Arcade Second Stadium coming July 22nd, 2022. What y'all gonna put in the arcade stadium this time? Saturday Night Slam. Oh, Saturday Night Magic Slam! Sword. I don't know about Magic Sword. I don't know about Black Tiger. Eco Fighters okay, Eco Fighters, I know about that one. For a total of 32 arcade titles. Holy crap. In addition to a bundle they, of and they put Street Fighter Alpha 3 on it? Each title is available for individual purchase and features. Oh, sweetness. Lots of quality of life options. Yeah, but that's just cheating when you rewind. Sun Sun for free when Woo, Sun Sun. The bundle featuring all 32 Live titles 22nd. is available for pre-order now. Get display huh. frame set one as a bonus for pre-ordering. That Mega Man though, that's Mega Man 8. Get the Capcom Arcade Stadium title, Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior. Oh, free for a little for a limited time. When? Right now? Is it available now? You try out the Capcom Arcade Get my Stadium Switch! As well. Is it available now? Please tell me it's available now. Next up is an update on Capcom's new team-based action game, Exoprimal. Oh, that's my jam. Okay, Switch, you're gonna have to wait. Hi, everyone. Exo Primal. Director of Exo Primal. This game looks. We have a new sprinkles. To show today. That includes lots of gameplay. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is gonna be my jam. Sorry. Huh? I sneezed. I'm oh. the artificial intelligence Leviathan. Leviathan. Yo, this better be better than Anthem. I swear, I'm gonna smack somebody. So this looks like there's something that's a successor for Anthem. Experiment. That's what I was thinking too. When I thought. Because God damn it, Anthem has so much potential. So welcome to Bikitoa Island. Welcome to Bikitoa Island. I don't even know. You have been selected for a live combat test. Okay. Is there gonna the be a demo? Team to complete their assignment wins. So I care about. Give me a demo. My archives encompass exhaustive records of humans. So this is like Dynasty Warriors, but with dinosaurs. Annals are written yes. with errors and institutional and armor. Oh First damn! He, well, are those Gatling guns like that. Fascinating. Humans. Yeah, that's a that's a triceratops, sir. You seek to evolve, yet you do not want to change. You tear down curtains, yet fear revelations. Even when what is revealed is of your own creation. Ooh. Oh, so it's gonna be fighting other people. Oh, okay. To develop the exosuit. At IBS, we're always reaching for better. I'm always horrible. Humanity resists quantification, an interesting variable. 
Within your behavior lies the answer. Damn, we got what a whole bunch of hearts. So this is yeah. So these also give me lost planet vibes. Oh yeah. Some of that too. Fight. I still have that on Steam as well. For me. Fight and die for you. I don't know you. Carnage module online. Carnage module. What the hell? Oh. Oh, that's disturbing. That is I not nice. Your attention to the unstoppable raptor horde. Calculating chance of the unstoppable raptor horde. calculated at 8.7%. You know a nice nuke would be great at this point. What the? Oh, they got bloaters too. Combat experiment is called for. You will now witness a small fragment of the war game. You need to keep fighting until we can figure out how to destroy the bot. Oh, sugar honey ice tea. That is ugly. That's so primal. Sounds like a 90s cartoon show, I swear to God. It does. I love it. I'm all for that it. on Saturday morning cartoons. I'm all I for it. The trailer. Now, I did. I will get into more detail about the game. Please do. Developed by Ivius Corporation, Leviathan is a next-gen AI that guides players throughout Exoprimal via voice navigation and augmented reality displays. Leviathan sounds like an a -hole. Leviathan appears before players as a massive human-like figure or as a surveillance drone called a Watcher. The trailer shows Leviathan unleashing hordes of dinosaurs. Players will battle these dinosaurs after being forced into Leviathan's infinitely repeating war games why is Leviathan bringing dinosaurs into our world? Hey, that's a good Leviathan question. Repeating these war games. Solve the mystery by playing the main game mode, Dino Survival. Yeah, I'll, I'm just hoping that this doesn't get repetitive. Gameplay introduction. Exo Primal <laughs> is a team-based action game. In Dino Survival, two squads of five race to complete objectives. Okay. Teams must follow Leviathan's directives and complete the mission before their rivals to win. Oh, so it's, it has PvP. These directives will feature a dynamic mix of missions. In fact, we just saw some in the latest trailer. There's Dinosaur Call, where teams must eliminate a specific dinosaur. In VTOL Defense, teams protect a grounded aircraft from dinosaur onslaughts. Jesus. In Data Key Security, teams escort a valuable asset to its destination. At least they got a lot of Strike good modes. An Omega Charge with the powerful Omega Hammer. The Omega Hammer. In Energy Taker, Teams compete to collect the most energy. Oh, so this is straight up PvP. You also saw a glimpse of a strange and terrifying creature known as a Neo Tyrannosaurus. A Neo Tyrannosaurus, like we really well, need something like that. There are situations like where you directly engage enemy players. Yes, we do. There are other times where you band together with rivals to take down a major foe. Oh, so they got raids. Of missions will keep players on their toes. So at one point you'll fight each other, and at another point you'll work together. The the yeah. Talk will about cause of confusion. Even in matches it's like, look, man, I'm sorry I almost killed you the last matches. match, but yeah, we gotta, we gotta stick together. Dino survival. <laughs> you will unlock story sequences, and also earn rewards such as experience points to increase your player and exosuit levels. Nice. We'll provide more details about this at a later date. Now that we've detailed Dino Survival, let's can move you, on to can exosuits. Give us a, a, a demo. We showed two new future. exosuits today. Exosuits, let's go. I know which one I'm gonna get. Is an assault roll exosuit. It uses explosives to set areas ablaze and bombs with ricochet grenades. I think I know which one I'm gonna get. So you don't want that sniper one? Vigilant is also an yep. assault roll exosuit. The vigilant. Mm-hmm. Uh, fucking rail gun? Like what the hell? <laughs> That's a bit overkill. We have even I don't care. They're dinosaurs. With you in the future, so look forward to upcoming. You only talk about two exosuits. We have one last announcement for today. What the hell? You only mentioned two exosuits. Oh, I already know the other ones. I ain't worried about it. Welcome. Oh, closed network test. Let's go, baby. We're conducting a closed network test for Exopro. How do I sign up? I need to sign up right now. Players will be able to try the game ahead of release. Where is it at? I need to. I need to do it now. Test the game's online infrastructure and make improvements ahead of launch. Damn. Sign up to participate today. What time is it? I'm um, participating. Experience Dino Survival before uh, the game's launch next year. Hold off on that. Having you join in. What do you mean? Twenty-three thirty. Oh. That's all for today. What the hell? Oh. Oh, it's not here. It's not live yet. On in thirty minutes.
Damn it! Damn it. Don't tell us to sign up now if it's not ready! And so minutes. Media. 15 minutes. Excuse you me. deceiver! Thank you for watching. You Judas! Still love you though, it's all good. <laughs> Next, we have a message about Dragon's Dog. Dragon's Dog, bro? Um, better not do a cash grab, I swear to God. <laughs> if you re release some Dragon's Dog again, I'm gonna slap you. I'm just gonna slap you. The anime was pretty cool, though, I'll give you that. 10th, 10 years, god damn. Hi everyone, I'm Hideaki Itsuno, game director at Capcom. What up, Itsune-san? We celebrated the 10th anniversary of Dragon's Dogma. Cool. Thanks to all of you for joining us in this celebration. Okay. The world of Dragon's Dogma has since spread to various different kinds Dragon's of Dragon's Dogma is a fucked up story, though. from games such as Dragon's Dogma and the Dark Arisen expansion. Not like killing a dragon to only become the dragon. Netflix original animated series. Yeah, when is season two coming out? In the coming days, uh, we will be releasing a video celebrating ten years of Dragon's Dogma. Celebrate Dragon's Dogma, come on! Dragon's Dogma came to be. So whether you're a longtime fan or just curious about the series, we'll have something for you to enjoy. That's nice. We hope you check it out. Yeah, I'll check it out. Once again, thank you all so much. You're welcome. That wasn't and really now much. We have a bunch ah, of okay, Resident, Resident Evil. Evil franchise. This is more your alley. I was hyped. No, you was. Hello, everyone. All of that. Suyoshi Kondo, Resident Evil the with the VR. Evil Village. Yeah. You get to be all in the Demescu's booty. For six million units worldwide. Now, come here, girl. Let me just. Everyone on the team is incredibly happy to see. So oh, she leaving out the room. Smack that booty. <laughs> Thank you for your support. The Resident Evil series continues to bring fun experiences to people around the world. Is it? We is it though? Long-time fans and people who are right, new to Resident see. Evil to enjoy this storied franchise. Let's start with this video. Let's let's, let's begin. I'm a eyes. Oh, we getting Resident Evil Nine? It's all right, Rose. <laughs> it's all right. Already? Yeah, sorry, Ethan. Your daughter's loud though, she cool. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. Ooh. I want to live a normal life. You can't, baby girl, because you got powers. You special. You elite. Oh wow, we're getting expansion? Going on. Okay, 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 okay. You're just like me. Oh, now we have a new little rabbit to pursue. They go on hand with the music. The yeah. They should just add a co-op. Oh, you get to play it! Wow. Holy beholders! I was not expecting that. She plays the other characters. Holy crap! Yeah, I was like, oh damn, hello. Hello, hello, you can ride in. You can be the tall vampire lady. Don't bite me, lady! Wait, wait. I was about to say, Chris could become a werewolf? Oh, that's the golden edition. Shadows of Rose, Mercenaries. I wanted to see you stream this game. Oh, right the, the extra content. So you beat the game already, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I want to see you. Waiting. I swear to God, they let you play as Chris and he turns into a werewolf, it would make all the sense in the world why he's so damn strong. Last June. Oh. <laughs> we think this uh, new experience will be worth yeah. the wait. 
not allowed to punch the boulder. Come on. He did. Major right. I don't know why they First, did the that. Person mode. It was comedy. It's video games. You don't need to question it. No, I'm not talking about the why they made him punch. I'm talking about why they made the cover. Uh, yeah, like that. Half like his that. face. He wouldn't making memes about it for a long time. Ethan's journey can enjoy the new perspective and animations too. Oh, that bite though. Turns with additional orders in an arcade. I bite back. Don't bite me. Where focus has been put on the exhilarating feeling of defeating relentless hordes of enemies. Mercenaries should have been a co-op. As well as additional playable characters such as Chris Redfield and Heisenberg. Of course, Lady Dimitrescu will be there too. Lady Dimitrescu really fueled this mode up. Ah, Kuma. What? What's the matter? They're treating us bad. What are you talking about? Enemies aside, because I'm in this one Twitch chat and everyone's saying that the demo will drop June 14th, 7 p.m. Pacific time. So pretty much when I come home. Rose, the beloved daughter of the main protagonist Ethan. So you got no choice but to wait for me. Main character in this new story mode. Aha! The main story of village. Oh shit! Rose's struggles yes. with the terrifying powers. Damn! To break free Ten o'clock for us. Her powers, she oh they oh they. Of the you think people don't work? They don't give a there, shit. There, she meets a girl who looks just like her. Oh, you found a twin? Uh oh In this mysterious realm of consciousness, uh -oh. time and space is warped beyond recognition. Rose is guided by a being who calls himself Michael, who Michael. might be of assistance with removing her powers. Michael? How do I remove your powers? Rose what the fuck? is set completely in a third-person perspective. In the realm of consciousness, you won't only face creatures, but the world itself seems to be attacking you. Enjoy oh God. the horror of the world itself being your greatest enemy. Wait a minute. How will Rose find freedom from her mysterious powers? <laughs> that looks familiar. I have a game that does the, the exact same feature. Resident Evil Village mm. It's a game called Breakdown. Includes all three of these major additions. In addition, Resident Evil. Oh, so that's what they give you third person mode. I just realized that. Expansion with the base yeah. game will be um. simultaneously. The yeah, I don't know. For October 28th, I feel like I'll take away from the. Why is Stadia still alive? Resident Evil RE Verse will also begin service on the same date, October. Who plays Stadia? Let me let me speak to those people. We hope that you are someone who wants to get their kid a video game. <laughs> what happened? But someone who wants to get their kid a video game but can't afford like modern video games right now. Uh, you know that Stadia, you have to actually play full price for those games. On making the main story of Village as far as the system, how much you pay for the system? You still have to pay for the system. Resident Evil. It's $130-something dollars. I got that. Addition, My point the is, story of if it's $130 is compared to PS5's what? VR sold out? We're working hard Xbox is you the ultimate expensive, PC is expensive. Next I'm saying it's for people Resident that want to get like, their kids something. So but well, they got Stadia for their kid, they got expensive stuff to play it on. Up next, a game that was announced just a few days ago. Unless they put their kid on a tablet or something like that with a controller. Probably. But the internet's probably gonna suck. What's this now? What is this? I, I know this number. What is this? That's the release date for it? What this? What they do? What, what they do? do? What are you doing? Oh, Resident Evil 4, yeah, this is up your alley. This is all you. It was going crazy with the fucking music for this one. They just going in. Cast our nets with. Look at you with your marriage. Woo! Oh, put the roses on the floor. Dance around them. God damn. Oh, remember that scene in Mission Impossible where they was dancing and he was sneaking in the house? Uh, huh? I forgot what the dance called, Flamingo dancing? Yes, Flamingo. Yeah, Flamingo. Yeah, they went in on that intro. Yeah. At least they drew her better this time. Oh, so much better. Hopefully oh, she can actually fight. It is a game that came out in 2005. True. So. But they, Man, what, they, they did a second remaster of it, and then... Yeah. Oh, yeah. They re-released it on PS3, because it was originally yeah. on GameCube. GameCube and PS2, yeah. I don't remember it being on. Well, yeah, it was on PS2. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna watch you stream this. I'm not playing it. Oh boy! Ada Wong looks different too. Yeah, I think they're giving her their, their Resident Evil 2 remake look. Mmm, that makes sense. Because that's what they got Leon looking like now too. He was like his Resident Evil 2 
remake model. Man, let me tell you something. Leon is a badass in the movies. Yeah, in the animated ones. Hell, fuck yeah. Yeah, they made that man go crazy. Like, you saw him when he fought those dogs on a motorcycle. Oh yeah. I'm gonna use his foot to throttle. Even for a second. <laughs> Lean back and pop them. Like the what is this? Look, Leon. That man has fought tyrants. It can be Facts. zombies. Super people. It has to. Like. Leon is more like Jet Li in them, while Chris was more the brute, like Arnold Schwarzenegger and shit like that. Because even yeah. that that hallway fight with the zombies was butter. Hi, oh, everyone. oh, him I'm and Chris? Yeah. yeah. Direct oh, my. That was. I'm going to rewatch that tonight. <laughs> uh, Leon was on his John Wick. Exactly. While I was freaking Chris was just going ham on dudes. Like, how do you. How do you maneuver a zombie in that manner to. to not come over here? No, you, you mirror? No, you come over here? That's that Ponatukin fighting style. We use him as a shield. Get him out the way. Grab the next person. Pop, 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 pop. Hit. Pop, pop. That's why they're saying it is possible to fight multiple people. You know what you're doing. Yeah, and Leon knows what he's doing. Yeah, he, they both did. I was actually shocked. Six years after the events in Raccoon City. Okay, somebody gonna get bit. <laughs> that was a nice narrow hallway game, too. That's like Kennedy zombie one on one for assured death. The only thing I was questioning is like, damn, how many clips did you have Leon on you, Leon? To a quiet village oh, Leon? Leon? As part of a mission to it's like he didn't miss not one friend. shot. It was like one pop you each bullet. You can't afford to miss. Exactly. And Leon knows this. He said, "Not nah, like, every bullet gonna count. I'm gonna make two bullets going. I'm gonna make one bullet going to two heads." He probably did that. Yeah, he did that in the hallway. He put one. He put the put the gun to the next to the guy's head. Popped it to another zombie, and then went bop. Took out two at the same time. In order to and Chris, he had a, a whole rifle with a bayonet. No, he had a grenade launcher attached to that shit. No, it was a knife. Cause it was a, no, I, I'll take pull a up right now. I'm telling you, he had a bayonet. I'm gonna tell you right now. Give me a second. Okay. The over the shoulder camera returns, of course. Over the shoulder camera, let's go. Cool. Leon arrives at a dense and dangerous forest. We want to nail the feeling of loneliness and fear of not knowing what lies ahead, even more so than the original. Yep. Oh, we were both right. There will also we had both. Thrilling. Yeah, he had a bayonet with a grenade launcher. Overpowered? For what reason, Chris? Chill out. Are you are you really asking that question when he has to fight? You crazy? You're right. I say yes, have both, just in case. We'll have more information on the game. That's why you go. Four is being developed for PlayStation. From afar and stab. Series S and PC. The release date will be March twenty fourth. Oh, he did. Yep, there it is. Look at him! Look at him! Look at him! He does walking right through them. We are aiming to create a right, and he's doing with like minimal steps. Exactly. Forward to it. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that skill! God damn! Pushing one zombie with his back while shooting. Use one as a shield. Look at it. Grab, slash, slash, right. weave, slash, weave, <laughs> weave, slash, think about the elbow, oh, get shoulders off me. And elbows. Get off me. You have to have super strength to grab these zombies, man. I swear to God. Look at that. Under the leg. Weave, slash. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that shit. God damn. Oh, reloading. Look at that. Power drive. <laughs> Let me get that gun back. Excuse Hold that. me. Ah. My weapon back, thank you. Rude. Now then, pat, 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 pat. pat Alright, what we got pat. here? Good old Resident music. Evil Biohazard. That game was too creepy. Which one, seven? Yep. And music, though. Dies. Nice. Yeah, Resident Evil 2 was a good remake. It was. 3 was good, it was just too short. Well, I mean, 3 was short, though. That's the thing I'm actually surprised with people. They, they took out a lot of stuff compared to the original. I don't remember it. Because I, I watched, I rewatched the playthrough. It wasn't even that, I don't know. They, they took a bit out. The thing is that like, it wasn't that great back then, either. I mean, no, but... Because I, I know they took out, they took out a whole boss. They took out the giant worm boss. Yeah, because it was a prequel sequel. Yeah. Well, a prequel sequel that turned into parallel... See, that's just too damn confused. Everybody was just all about Jill Valentine. It, oh, it turned into a prequel, sequel, parallel, it turned into future. Yeah. Because you end up leaving Resident, Resident Evil 2 3 2 with the city getting nuked. Resident yeah. So that's still a sequel. These three oh, yeah, prequel, sequel. Hello. Return Shit. with current gen features, including support. I'm going back to watching these two fight. Frame rate and ray tracing. 
as well as oh they added ray tracing now i don't care experience. stop remaking shit john leon john. leon wick leon. Leon. <laughs> <laughs> You know you're badass when you in addition, push a zombie back with Xbox your pistol. Pack your back. Get off. Okay, you see, this is actually smart. Upgrade program and smart delivery. People don't have to buy. They got smart delivery and a free upgrade. Users Jesus Christ. Will be available on the same date. Yeah. Stop for trying to charge people with extra money for something they already own. Like, we hope you enjoyed the immersion these new versions That's offer. That's just naughty dog. Yeah. It's not and just naughty dog. Welcome I was about to say more. To the family. Rockstar. Yes. That's all for today's announcement. Elder Scrolls. Right. Thank you. We need to get started with Elder Scrolls. How many times you gonna buy a game? That wraps up today's show. One game. That's it. If you're as excited as yeah, we are it was about very short. some of our upcoming games, I mean, thank you to everyone. Okay. Old fans alike for tuning in. <laughs> okay, I guess. We look but forward damn. to more updates with you this, soon. This, this, this was just the Sunbreak Resident Evil sh game show. All right, that's all this was. Yeah, I know, but still, I was expecting a little bit more. Just a little bit. I mean, they already talked about, um. Some fucking Street Fifth saved Cap uh Street Fighter for the Capcom. Nah, okay. I mean it's fine. They could do I'm okay. I don't know. I just wanted something else, I guess. But that was <laughs> fine. Say. That was fine. It's not it's, at least it's not gonna be as bad as Thursday with Square Enix. They're only doing ten minutes. Oh damn, what the fuck Square Enix got going on? Uh twenty fifth anniversary four. for no. 25th anniversary, 25th anniversary for Final Fantasy VII. That's it? That's it. 10 minutes. That's all it's going to be. Then we're probably going to get the, the part, part two. two. Yeah. Which I'm ready for. I'm ready for that too. Yeah. I didn't do the. I didn't play the extra DLC though yet. I did. I got to play that. I got to remind yeah. myself to make a weekend of doing that. But yeah, that, you know what? It wasn't a bad showcase. It wasn't a yeah, bad that, showcase. That, it, yeah. The, it's it wasn't that. too bad. I, I liked what I saw. They talked more about Ex Exos Primal, which it better be up for demo right now, goddammit. Oh, the correct. There it is. So, Begin. Entry submission. Entry submission. Close network test. Hello. Changes and were made to the Capcom ID. Oh, come on, man. Are you resident. over 13? Yes, I am. Yes, I am a grown man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a human. I'm just... uh, do I have a Capcom ID? I don't. I ID. actually do, but it's on my... Hold on. You know what? Let me close out. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Special shout out to my boy Damien for joining me again uh, with this. Uh, this I do. I'm going to fully upload this. I don't care. I'm just going to upload it as it is. But other than that, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.